please be seated. Bonjour and welcome. My name is Anne-Marie Croteau, and I'm the dean of the John Wilson School of Business, one of the largest and best business schools in the world. I would like to begin by acknowledging that Concordia University is located on unceded indigenous lands. The Kumuni Kehaka Nation is recognized as the custodians of the lands and waters on which we gather today. John Jagge, ou Montréal, est historiquement connu comme un lieu de rassemblement pour de nombreuses Premières Nations. Aujourd'hui, une population autochtone diversifiée ainsi que d'autres peuples y réside. We respect the continued connection with the past, present, and future in our ongoing relationships with the indigenous and other peoples within the Montreal community. Distinguished invité, chers collègues, family and friends, Madame Julie Shukri, sorry, Ju Julie Shukri, aujourd'hui récipiendaire d'un doctorat honorifique. Dear graduates, for many reasons, today is a special day for you, a day that calls for celebrations. Not only are you here to receive your hard-earned degree, but you are here together in person, finally, to celebrate your perseverance and strength in achieving these honors despite the challenges of the last two years. It has been, yes. <laughs> It has been an intensive period of change, of growth. Society and the business world have changed tremendously since you began your stories, your studies, but so have you. You are the leaders of tomorrow, true next generation members of business and society. The entire John Molson School of Business and Concordia community is proud to watch you succeed. To your families and friends, Thank you for the support you have shown to our students. It is with great pride that I now say congratulations to the graduates of 2022. Félicitations à chacun et chacune de nos nouveaux diplômés. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the Chancellor of Concordia University, Mr. Jonathan Winner. Merci. Dear graduates, distinguished guests and attendees, it feels wonderful to stand here today to celebrate our new graduates, not virtually, but actually. Congratulations to each of you. I commend your perseverance, dedication, and hard work. Despite the many challenges and continuous curveballs life threw at you these past two years, you did it. Take pride in your accomplishments. Enjoy this moment in the company of loved ones who played an important role in your success. Graduation is an important milestone. For most of you, it marks the end of your time as a student and the start of your professional journey. The past two years have been challenging. We suffered loss, isolation, uncertainty, and fear. Yet we witnessed incredible fortitude, innovation, and creativity. Concordia transitioned life, its entire curriculum online in a matter of weeks. Our preparedness allowed us to continue teaching and learning during the time of great upheaval. More importantly, the pandemic revealed our community's true spirit. We saw an incredible outpouring of kindness, empathy, and generosity. 
Réfléchissez aux leçons que vous avez tirées de la pandémie et d'une période d'énormes changements sociétaux et mondiaux. Les défis que vous avez surmontés vous ont rendu plus fort et plus adaptable. Ce que vous avez vécu restera avec vous pour le reste de votre vie. C'est une histoire que vous raconterez à vos petits-enfants et qui vous servira euh, tout au long de votre carrière. The world is going through a period of monumental change that touches almost every aspect of our lives. Add to that the fact that you're transitioning from an environment where everyone told you what you should do to one where you now have to decide what you want to do. Believe me when I say your path will not be a straight line. That decision, what you want to do, is some, probably the most important thing you will do. Behold, sorry, <laughs> be bold, take chances, and do not be afraid to make mistakes, as I just did. <laughs> this is how you will discover what works and what doesn't. Thomas Edison made a thousand attempts at inventing the light bulb. When he finally succeeded, a reporter asked him what it felt like to fail a thousand times. Edison replied, I didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. Accept failure as part of the process and then learn from it. Pour rejoignez un réseau mondial de diplômés de plus de 240 000 personnes. Tirez parti de ce réseau, profitez des énormes ressources et de la communauté qui existe à Concordia. Il n'y a jamais eu d'aussi importante pénurie de diplômés éduqués et formés dans la plupart des industries. There are countless opportunities yet that may be in areas you haven't even considered. With the rapid pace of technology and the advent of artificial intelligence, the world is transforming before our eyes. To strive, you will have to be leaders of change. Do not be afraid to lead by exerting a positive influence on those around you. When you elevate others, you elevate yourself. When you finally achieve success, remember that you did not do so alone. You were helped by those who paved the road before you and helped you along the way. Remember to give back, whether financially or through the gift of your knowledge and time. Give back to your alma mater and community by investing in its future generations of graduates just as previous generations have invested in you. Define your success by the degree to which you positively affect your communities. I want to thank President Graham Carr for the leadership and vision over the last two years. He oversaw the university's transition from in-person to online learning and teaching. Il aurait été facile de passer en mode survie et d'attendre que la crise passe. Au lieu de cela, Graham a pris les rênes de l'université avec courage, intégrité, panache et un leadership exceptionnel. Merci. I want to thank all the faculty and staff to work so tirelessly to provide the best possible education and services to our students and broader community. To the parents, friends, and loved ones who supported our new graduates through their challenging journey, thank you. Finally, to our new graduates, I couldn't be prouder of you. It wasn't easy and it wasn't what you expected, yet with Concordian spirit, you persevered. Apply that strength and determination to your career and to your life, and I have no doubt you will realize 
all your dreams and ambitions. Dream big and follow your passion. As a fellow graduate, I wish you all good luck and good fortune, good health. Chapeau et merci. I would like to ask President of Concordia and Vice Chancellor Graham Carr to address the convocation. Well, uh, following Dean Croteau and Chancellor Wiener, let me be the third person to congratulate you. But after all, third time's the charm. Convocations are a joyous occasion. But let's be honest, since our last convocation in November 2019, it hasn't been the best of times. Les difficultés, les tragédies et les injustices sont bien trop présentes qu'il s'agisse de la terrible guerre en Ukraine, de la fusillade dans une école primaire au Texas, du meurtre de George Floyd ou des découvertes obsédantes de tombes d'enfants autochtones au Canada. Selon l'Agence des Nations Unies pour les réfugiés, il y a environ 26 millions de réfugiés dans le monde, environ la moitié d'entre eux au moins de 18 ans. L'UNESCO estime que 250 millions d'enfants dans le monde, en majorité des jeunes filles, n'ont pas accès aux compétences de base en littérature. Pendant ce temps, la température du monde devient de plus en plus chaude. Les incendies font rage de manière incontrôlable. Les espèces disparaissent et l'eau aussi. Et puis, il y a le COVID-19 qui, selon l'Organisation mondiale de la santé, a causé 6,3 millions de décès dans le monde au 1er juin. Like students everywhere, your last two years were disrupted by swift adaptation to remote learning, restricted access to labs, studios, and a campus life that was a shadow of what the student experience is meant to be. Yet here you are today, about to graduate. In some ways, you, we, are all incredibly fortunate. So how should that good fortune inform how we celebrate your convocation? It's exactly the larger context of the past two years and the present that makes this celebration so meaningful. That you're being celebrated today speaks to your determination, tenacity, and adaptability. It also speaks to the extraordinary efforts of faculty and staff who were committed to your success. Yes, the last two years were at times frustrating, discouraging, disappointing. But when you compare your achievements with the litany of things happening in the world, savor the privilege and good fortune in being here today. As we celebrate together, let's also imagine what we as a university and you as graduates can do with our good fortune to bring hope, joy, and beauty to a world that needs your talent. Let me speak first about what I hope for the university. There's a ranking called the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. It measures how universities perform against the objectives of the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals. This year, more than 1,400 universities around the world participated in the ranking. Concordia ranked in the top 50 in the world for our work to reduce inequality. It gets better. We ranked 20th for how we perform on climate action. Applause 
and we ranked fifth for our leadership in creating smart cities and communities. Not bad for a university that hasn't yet turned 50 years old. But even more important than those rankings are what those three categories say about our values. Our commitment to opportunity and accessibility, to environmental responsibility, to blending technology with design to improve the quality of urban life for all. It's work that's happening across all our faculties and certainly in the John Molson School of Business. And it's work at Concordia that's soon to be augmented by the new School of Health that we're in the process of designing. And as the name of the rankings implies, it's about impact, research, learning, and actions that make a difference in our world. And this is why the lessons of the last two years are so important for universities. La pandémie a perturbé notre façon de travailler, a remis en question les hypothèses fondamentales sur l'enseignement et l'apprentissage, a modélisé de nouvelles approches pour faire de la recherche et surtout a souligné que le rythme des choses s'est accéléré et est devenu plus urgent à l'ère numérique. Bien sûr, Certaines universités traditionnelles chercheront désespérément à revenir à la situation d'avant COVID. Mais les universités innovantes se rendront compte qu'il n'y a pas de retour en arrière. For us at Concordia, the good fortune of this moment is that it pushes us to think differently about our university of the future. How can we accomplish even more to marshal our expertise and advance our values? How can we transform ourselves to exert even greater impact in the world? Whether that's the difference we make to our students' lives or how we become leaders in tackling the grand challenges of our time. Which brings me to you, the graduates. I believe there are two key performance indicators that measure university success. How does university research and innovation contribute to the public good? And what do our graduates go on to do after they graduate? Some of you have already big ambitions for your future. Others may be very uncertain about the road ahead. And that's why the next part of this convocation ceremony matters. At Concordia, we choose our honorary doctorates for inspiration. We look for individuals who've accomplished great things in their respective fields, sometimes in the public spotlight, sometimes not. We also look for individuals who embody our values, including an awareness that the world is not an even playing field. Nous choisissons des personnes qui ont démontré la vision et la capacité de diriger, d'innover, d'enseigner, d'améliorer, de transformer des individus fiers de penser de manière indépendante, qui relèvent le défi créant et innovant. One thing we need to understand about honorary degrees, however, is that the honor goes two ways. The recipients of a Concordia honorary doctorate honor us by their willingness to be part of who we are as a university and what we aspire to become. They honor us by their belief that we align with their values and recognize that the university also wants to make a difference and impact in the area where they are blazing trails. In a minute, you'll listen to a citation for Julie Guichoureau, one of Africa's most influential world which I hope should also mean one of the world's most influential women, whose leadership in journalism, education, and philanthropy transcends categorization, but has had immense direct impact, influencing lives and promoting civil dialogue in the public sphere. I'll stop there lest I steal the words of the citation. And instead, what I'd ask is that as you Bathe yourselves in this ceremony, in this rite of passage to the next phase of your lives. 
be inspired to commit to how you too can apply the privilege of a great education to make a difference in the world. In these troubled times, what makes this convocation ceremony so meaningful is not only that it encapsulates your success and that of our honorary doctorates, but also the evergreen promise that universities are places of inquiry, intelligence, knowledge, and innovation, offering solutions to the world. Félicitations encore. Congratulations again on your success. I look forward to the impact you're sure to make. Thank you. Merci. Mr. Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Ms. Julie Gishuru, an award-winning journalist, a peace advocate, and a conscientious entrepreneur. Julie Gishuru is best known in her native Kenya for her long career as a media personality. Her television specials promoting a nonviolent response to the 2007 Kenyan election led Ms. Gishuru to become the first African woman to receive the Martin Luther King Salute to Greatness. Over the um, past decade, her investments in media, fashion, retail, and the entertainment sectors have extended her reach and her positive influence. As a result, she has been named one of the top 100 most influential Africans or African women in the world on several occasions. Ms. Kishiru's ongoing contributions through her production company and as Chief Public Affairs and Communications Officer at the MasterCard Foundation helped to promote a positive message about Africa on the continent and beyond. She's also a passionate promoter of maternal health care and safety of women. She continues to push for Kenyan and African progress through her work with prominent organizations such as the World Bank Group, African Development Bank, various UN agencies, and Africa Leadership Initiative. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Board of Governors and Senate, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Ms. Julie Gishuru so that you may confer upon her the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Gushuru. I ask you to please address the convocation. Thank you so much, Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class. Family and friends, it's a great honor to be here with you all to accept this degree, this humbling recognition. And I'm so excited for you all, for you who are graduating, for your families, for your friends, for Concordia. You know, I remember this moment for me about 150 years ago. No, it feels that way now. The excitement, you know? The hope, no more assignments, no more lectures, right? <laughs> it was done, and I was moving on to a new season. 
but I was also incredibly anxious, worried, even fearful of what the future held for me. Indulge me for a moment. You know, it reminds me of the sound of music and Maria as she headed to the Von Trapp family home and she sang, what will this day be like? Do you remember? I wonder, what will my future be? I wonder, my singing is like my cooking, so I'll stop. Um, but I said to myself at that time, Julie, just stay focused. Keep moving, don't stop. Take one step after another. Just go step by step, it will be fine. Now I studied law and then I did an MBA with a focus on international business and world trade law and between that, I spent a year working anywhere I could in factories. I worked in the students union, you know, I worked in the pool room, cleaned the pool tables, sold drinks and food, did everything I could to get myself through university because um, I really wanted my masters. Um, when I started looking for a job after I graduated, I was knocking on doors and I kept being told, you're overqualified. You're overqualified. Then I decided, guess what? I'm gonna do something non-traditional. I was watching TV in Kenya and I thought, hmm, I'm watching news. I can do some of that. And since I can't get a job, maybe I can get some invaluable experience. So I knocked at KTN, a television station at their newsroom, and I asked if I could try out for a job, and they asked me to do a screen test. I was very lucky to get hired as an unpaid intern, I need to say, um, for a period of time, because they had a shortage of legal and business reporters. And that's how my media career began. My life has not been a straight path. Agility is absolutely critical. I've done, as you heard, I've had an entrepreneurship journey and then met with the MasterCard Foundation and I'll come back to how they found me. And uh, most important thing was through the trials and tribulations, problem solve, find alternative pathways and don't be scared to use them because sometimes they open the door to your real success. And remember, stay focused, don't stop keep moving step by step. Now growing up, I would talk to my parents about university plans and they were super supportive. My mom has always been a bastion. My father too was so excited about me pursuing a legal career. When I finished high school, I recall a day, he comes up to me and says, Julie, you know, in our culture there are certain things that we do. And a young man and his family have come to ask for your hand in marriage. Now this was a shock to me. I thought I had fairly modern parents, right? And I was stunned and it got worse because he said, the young man is in the living room. So um, maybe you could just go sit down, have a chat, connect and, and, and see. And I was, um, I was, I, I had no words, which is very unusual for me. I was speechless. I went into the living room where this reasonable looking young man was seated and I sat down next to him and before he could speak, I said, I think there's been a mistake, you know? Really good to meet you, but I think there's been a mistake because I'm going to university and I'm going to study and I'm going to get a degree and I'm not getting married. So, because my dad had taught me how to drive, I asked him, where can I drop you, you know? <laughs> And I did proceed to drop him off, uh, you know, ASAP. Uh, very polite, very clear, but very focused. And that evening when my dad came home, I was nervous. I didn't know if he th would think I was rude or, you know, but I said, I'll just be really open. And I said, Dad, we had a plan. We talked about this so many times. What changed? And he reminded me a few years ago, I said to him, please let me go to university. Help me study, let me do that. I promise I won't let you down. And this moment for me is just so moving and poignant because it takes me back to that. And it's a reminder to all of us to really play every role we can to help advance education for girls because it is still a challenge. You know, thank you.
I had a successful career in the newsroom, but um, got a bit tired of interviewing the same politicians over and over again and doing the same kind of stories, and had a passion for African dialogue and for inspiring the African continent. And I kept asking my editors and, and the teams, you know, can we do this? And nobody was interested. So I put my money together and I put a small crew together and started something. We traveled to the World Economic Forum on Africa uh, on, my, on my dime, and we started a show called the Africa Leadership Dialogues. And that was in 2012, and people laughed and said, why are you wasting your money? And four years later, I was able to leave my newsroom job at the height of my career to a lot of cynicism to step fully into Africa Leadership Dialogues, a platform that grew not just in Kenya or on the continent, but globally to drive conversations on development. And so trust your gut, guys. Trust your gut. Do what your soul tells you is important, even sometimes with naysayers. And that's, why I'm, that's where I connected with the MasterCard Foundation. They found me uh, in this space and said, Julie, come and join us. We're doing some incredible work. You may know the foundation. It's a Canadian foundation, now one of the largest in the world, formed just in 2006 out of a gift from MasterCard but has grown exponentially. It's an independent foundation with its own board of directors and management team. And the focus of our work has been Africa. Our mission now is to ensure through our strategy, Young Africa Works, that 30 million young Africans find dignified work by 2030 with a 70% focus on young women. And here in Canada, our LV program supports indigenous Canadian learners on their pathways through university and college and on to economic opportunities. It is humbling to be where I am today and to serve such a great mission. And as I look back, everything I did, my law degree, theater, I didn't mention, my passion was theater at one point, um, my master's, the job in the students' union, the job in the factory, everything I did comes together to add value to what I do today. So even when you're going through hard times and wondering, why am I doing this? Take what you can, learn, better yourself, grow, and build yourself to be titanium strong. Some quick... Some quick fire tips as I start to wind up. Be agile, be adaptable, take every opportunity to learn. In spite of all the challenges you face, I've said this several times, stay focused, don't stop, keep moving step by step. If you have your phone on you, just write those things down. Every time you feel low, look at that again and say that to yourself. Know yourself, ask yourself, and again, write this down if you can. Who am I, and am I who I am? Don't let the world push you in different directions. Know thyself, and then ensure you're living a life that's true to yourself, your journey, your passion. Build your village. This is so important. Remove toxicity with no apologies. Everything that brings you down and is heavy on your soul and makes, makes you feel worse every time you're in that space or you engage with those people, clean that up. Put people around you who nurture you, who are constructive in their criticism, who are your cheerleaders who grow you. That's critical. Put people around you who love and care for you and also love and care for the people around you. Embrace a thankful spirit. I thank God for everything. I mean, on my own, on my own strength, I am nothing. And, I, and it's, I'm just in awe that I'm able to stand here today. And for me, it's really, it's really God. I thank my husband of 19 years, Tony, for putting up with me. Um, yeah, and uh, our children, our children, for being part of the journey and of the growth. And, and in that, I just want to recognize, can we just give a round of applause to the families here today? So remarkable. Thankful also to family and friends and colleagues who are so supportive. 
Thank you, thank you. So, believe in yourselves. Believe in your vision, your hopes, and your dreams. Be strategic and follow that through with action. Stay focused, don't stop, keep moving step by step. And in the words of African change maker, Burner Boy. You all know him? Yeah? <laughs> he says, keep working, keep trying, keep moving. Make mistakes and learn, but never regret. I ain't perfect, neither are you. And guys, that's okay. Just keep moving. As I close, allow me to celebrate you all in African style. I'm going to do something called the ululation. A lot of African cultures embrace that, and I think maybe some others as well. Uh, may you go out and do great things. May you make the world a better place. May you have a fulfilled and a joyful life an ex exciting journey. Go forth now and conquer the world. Thank you. Dr. Gishuru, I want to thank you. One of the things that's very clear to me is you definitely did not let your father down. Your energy, your focus, your drive, your spirit was so inspirational today. I got to thank you, and I, I can't do what you just did, but if I could, <laughs> I would. <laughs> thank you very much. I would like to uh, now have uh, the graduates prepare to cross the stage and while you do um, I'd like to ask the audience to enjoy the Concordia trio uh, jazz trio as they prepare thank you
am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Business Administration. Wael Abu Amar. Ahmed Ab Abdul Rafa Al Rashi. Ramesh Anathanaraya Aladi. Ange Marie Amizero. Natasia Baiskaya. Matthew Baum. Janira Belmiro. Sebastian Bernier. Jordana Michelle Bernstein. Artur Chavez da Nobrega Gomez. Hao Chen. Chrysanthi Christopoulos. Peter Dentico. Aurelia Dupo. Christopher Di Filippo. Alessia Anunziana Di Giorgio. Vladimir Dimitrov. Zhong Dong. Agigad Drak El Sabai. Jia Ling Dong. Bernard El Haddad. Shirin Emadi Maababdi. Louis Olivier Gamache. Akshish Gupta. Joshua Gorman. Serge Ello. Francesco Iacocono. Charles Ebay. Hatan R. Jaban. Dan
Danish Jamal. Faiza Janipur. Tufik Sohel Jadavan. Fang Han Jiang. Nicole Tiffany Khan. Jaspreet Kaur. Georgias Coulier. Melissa Kuri. Matthew Laundry Vespoli. Mohammed Adnan Latif. Eric Limosani. Balaji Madan Ogopal. Zita McCake. Duncan Carter McKenzie. Valerie Myers. Tinok Tan Nguyen. Lucene Ohanian. Dylan Pearson. Pamela Siogios. Rohith Raja Gopal. Lawrence Raponi. Constantinos Sanodakas. Mark Scanlon. Ava Sheikh. Olga Sheshinkova. Shen Fahibahav Ramesh Shandaka Abed Sibai Rosina Sila
Gilles Saint Jean Ostigi. Pratamesh Wanare. Ke Wang. Sushan Wang. Yuran Wang. Jennifer Ward. Tang Fei Wei. Emma Lauren Williams. Wendy Earhart Winters. Michael David Wood. Dan Lee Yin. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Administration. Ricardo Abati. Uma Arora. Mumita Hashina Khan. Andrew Mancini. <laughs> Alexander McClough. <laughs> Harrison Ragon. <laughs> Jonah Rizzoli. Sarah Sood, with distinction, winner of the Administration Medal, uh, awarded to the highest ranking student graduating with the degree of Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Administration. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments, Accountancy, Economics. Abkar Aram Abkarian. <laughs> Hena Abramovich. <laughs> Jenna Ekte with distinction. <laughs> Nusrat Alam. Razan Al-Kabalan, with distinction. Sarah Nazar Alahar. Joanna May to Torres Ambat. Manu Karen Asuan. Mark Bengsong Leolizio Avena, with distinction. T. 
Tamina Bapu. Cynthia Barbiero, with great distinction. Florence Barrer, with distinction. Alec Bodeng Tuga, with distinction. Gurkaran Ajay Singh Blar. Blanchard Kluric, with great distinction, member of the uh, Garnasso Key Society. <laughs> Jamie Hannah Blinko, with distinction. And Leticia Blood. Mark Anthony Bonanno with distinction. <laughs> Justin Botello Canelo. <laughs> Patrick Eve Bravo Castillo. <laughs> Shona Britton. Marianne Briard. <laughs> Zena Brochu. <laughs> Joseph Burnett, with distinction. Jai Kai, with distinction, with great distinction. <laughs> Stephen Bartolomeo Camia. <laughs> Alexander Mark Campanelli, with distinction. Alfonso Donato Canovelli. <laughs> Daniel Jacquery Thomas Carpenzano, with distinction. <laughs> Marie Desiree Emily Casquet. Marie Pierre Shampoo. <laughs> Priya Darsini Chandra Kansan. <laughs> Sarah Chartrong. <laughs> Wee Ming Chen. Ka Wai Chick. <laughs> Adip Ahmed Chaudhry. <laughs> and Juliet Schwinnard Rayer. <laughs> Chandani Chaudhry. Ursula Pieta Claresta Crisabel. <laughs> Max Edward Dedeo. <laughs> 
Sabrina D'Alessandro. <laughs> Nino Matteo Del Bello. <laughs> Jenna Del Papa. <laughs> Erica Sofia De Luca. Andrew Dembi Giotis with distinction. Lera DeSantis. Jasmine Core Dillon. Alina Didoyan. Didonian. <laughs> Kathleen Drury, with distinction. <laughs> Jai Dulat, with distinction. <laughs> Melina Economopoulos, with the great distinction. Yasmin Mohamed El Hadidi with distinction. Amanda Adel Fostini with distinction. Braden Finney with distinction. Rosano. Rosanna Fraro with distinction. Audrey Fortang LeBlanc. Jeremy Frederick Goyet. Chloe Isabella Gallot. Mark Anthony Gallup with distinction. Jude Ganem with distinction. Goryot Giro. Melissa Gioia. Claudia Gay, winner of the Ross Medal for Accountancy, awarded to the most outstanding graduating students in accountancy. Winner of the Commerce Medal, awarded to the highest ranking student, graduating with the degree of Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce. Keror Habib. <laughs> Michael Haddad. <laughs> Mark Hellock. <laughs> Charlotte Emlang, with distinction. Maria Hanna. <laughs> Meijing He with distinction. <laughs> James Hadry with distinction. <laughs> Guirong Ku.
Cielo Elizabeth Huamani Crisp. Yu Wen Huang. Howard Isley, with distinction. Yasamin Yabasa. Chang Si Zie. Asher John. Sajipan Kandia. Aram Cassis with distinction. Angelo Kakesian. Aria Kexer. Mustik Ahmed Khan with distinction. <laughs> Sydney Olivia Klanix with distinction. <laughs> Viola Krasowski with distinction. Stephanie Lamour, with distinction. <laughs> Megan Langidog. <laughs> Miriam Leclerc, with distinction. <laughs> Stephanie Tia Leon. Jonathan Lipang. Dan Lee with distinction. Jing Lei Lee. Michael Lamin Lee. <laughs> Lilia Lim, with distinction. <laughs> Tavida Lim Jelina. <laughs> Jackie Lin. Yu Han Liu. <laughs> Stacy Lee Yu Tong. <laughs> Ho E. Claire Liu with distinction. <laughs> Zui Liu. Sandra Macchiato Godina. <laughs> Michael David McDonald. <laughs> so San Medi. <laughs> Lorena Moreng with distinction. K. 
Kayla Martin with distinction. Anita Marziliano. Jonathan McCurr with distinction. Spencer McCurr. Brandon McDonough. Emir Meditov. Francine Matthew Dassey. Emma Teresa Mercier, with distinction. Alexander Miseli. Christina Mijos. William Christopher Mie, with distinction. Alessandra Diana Morena. Haley John Coney Iosta Morris. Andrew Joseph Muir. Julia Merligan with distinction. <laughs> Gustavo Junqueira Nadur. <laughs> Carly Ann Nadu with distinction. <laughs> Jasmine Kaur Nanda. Junman Felix Nu. Andy New with distinction. Calliope Kelly Nutius. Anthony Parison. Avani Patel. Victoria Isabella Poor. Shabetha Pram Balam. Jackie Baum. Elio Justin Piccolino. Anais Pierard, with distinction. Sumia Punam Balam, with distinction. Amanda Elizabeth Proya. <laughs> Mohamed Mashrifur Rahman. <laughs> Jasmine Reno. Adam Rodriguez. Daniel Joseph Lucio with distinction.
Sarma Sebur. Erma Ryan Sarsabil. Litun Sarkar with distinction. Ashen Sandia Liana. Puyon Shokuhi with distinction. Jonathan Philip Siu Yon Yu with distinction. <laughs> Sophia Sila. <laughs> Amrit Par Singh. <laughs> Julia Phong Lin Su Hon Wa. Lina Song. George Stamos with distinction. Peizeng Tan with distinction. Sevak Chabrazian. Stephen Joshua Javier Tenorio. Arlene Amirta Tavaraya. Giacomo Trani. Denise Alexia Tarujas with distinction. Melissa Ulrich with distinction. Sarah Louise Vacant. Diana Lucia Valdivia Manrique. Kavi Velotha Pillai, with distinction. <laughs> Alisa Viseli, with distinction. <laughs> Dalina Bu. Sin Yuan Wong with distinction. <laughs> Melissa Wong Sui Cheng with distinction. <laughs> Tiffany Wong Sun Wai. <laughs> Sitong Wu. Alina Yarmek. <laughs> Sirak Yeyayan. <laughs> Helena Yu. <laughs> Hazim Zaki. Duo Zen. <laughs> Nan Zeng with distinction. <laughs> 
Siodan Zeng. Xu Huai Zeng. Bonnie Zhou. N. Yu Zhou. Kerry Zhou. Nadija Timovskaya, with distinction. Omar Estedi. Jehan Mehrnosh Irampur. Marlek Khoury. Brian Jesse Lenar. <laughs> Yu Hao Liu. <laughs> Rutia Lewis. <laughs> Ru Zheng Meng. Emily Pelletier. <laughs> Dania Certain. <laughs> Isha Yasser. <laughs> Taimur Khaled Hatim Yunus. Please enjoy this short video highlighting student life at Concordia before we continue with calling of graduates. I'm pleased to continue to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments, Management, Marketing. Abdel Rahman Hani Abdel Hadis Abdel Hadi. Agnes Agadiati with distinction. Erga Ahad with distinction. Vahesh Abdullah Alvihadi. <laughs> Katya Avat. <laughs> Fatih Ashtimir. <laughs> Jakob Paczynski. With distinction, winner of the marketing medal, order to the most outstanding graduating student in marketing. Charles Barley, with distinction. Audrey Beauchemin, with distinction. Rania Bishrawi. <laughs> Christina Berger. <laughs> Simrit Kor Bugal. <laughs> John William Boshi.
Laurie Bouchard with distinction. <laughs> Stefano Carbonaro. <laughs> François Cardinal. <laughs> Sascha Ellison Cavallo. Carol Maria Shire. Rida Shaga with distinction. Nicola Chiche. Matisse Ryan Xinyang. Nicola Valentino Colisa. <laughs> Erika De Roberti with distinction. <laughs> Hugues de Swarte. <laughs> Jasmine De Vito. Paolo Di Sante. Matthew Daniel Di Spirito. Mitchell Justin Fergenbaum. Giovanna Kaffritsch. Danielle Gregory. Christina Giamra. Valerie Gilde. Sebena Alexandria Greve. Alexandra Michelle Haydn. <laughs> Mihu Ming Shu Hao Hok Lim. <laughs> Stephanie Gabrielle Hubert Wies, with distinction. <laughs> Christopher Gianotti. Alexander Katanyakis. <laughs> Helena Kolovos. <laughs> Esther Kupperman with distinction, winner of the Management Medal for the most outstanding graduating student in management. Louis Xavier La Chapelle. <laughs> Kyla Maria Laderut. <laughs> Mathieu Lahes with distinction. <laughs> Abigail Lapitan. Nicolas Denis Leterno, with distinction. <laughs> Shui Tao Li Ming Shang. <laughs> Shu Sheng Lin. <laughs> 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 
Maria Olivia Lorenz. Charlie Rachel Lobotta, with distinction. Fagnos Machidi. Marisa Macri, with distinction. Clara May. Gemma Maschione. Megan Marshall. Tyler Jade Martin, with distinction. Ryan McGuire. Olivia Joyce Milisic. Erika Mignacca. Davin Benoit Miller. Samara Murphy. Daria Nagy with distinction. David Oliveira Martino. Kinder Omis. Misha Kelly Ostanivi. Vanessa Auch. Polina Panfilova. Maria Papa Christos. Alexandra Peluso. Jessica Poisson with distinction. Milesia Rankin Myers. Lara Sharif Ravashidi. Samira Reza. <laughs> Julia Ross. <laughs> Kelly Rossiter. <laughs> Romani Santilan Delgago. Ellen Samasti. Max Schwarz. Davina Segev. Amanda Sellers. Julia Semyonov.
Stephanie Solomon. James Sorella with distinction. Gabriella Terrasi. Tashika Tamashingam. Jonathan Ehrman. Jade Petra Wanderschelden. Maud Vermet. Alessia Viradi with distinction. Sally Fu. Isam Shusefi. Nasrin Shahabi. Rifat Saman with distinction. Juan Abanto Anchiraiko. Justin Abrams. Hamsi Abu Shadra. Ravan Al Hatami. Sophie Albo. Salom Marine Amiel. Dima Anbari with distinction. John Ian Aquino. Huda Arvani. <laughs> Tiffany Catherine Asali with distinction. <laughs> Alessio Battista. <laughs> Zagnab Pelati. Tristan Binette. Rory John Kane. Justin Salandriello, with distinction. Serena Shamoun. Megan Chow with distinction. <laughs> Nicolas Chilakos. <laughs> Sebastian Christie. <laughs> Amelie Consol. Sophia Avis Cortijos Noble. Rachel Andrea Cospi.
Christina Cosma. Michael Couture. Sophie Ann Degris Smith. Sierra D'Ambrosio. Mariana de la Concha Molina. Frederica de los Santos. Judd Michael Lewis Dennis. Jacques Jean Dermes Rubien. Rosilla Lima Duan. Emily Di Credico. Bianca Di Loreto. Kimberly Dumas. <laughs> Ali Camille Marie Durieux. <laughs> Jasmina El Kassen. <laughs> Anissa Marie Escuera. Isabella Esposito with distinction. <laughs> Angela Van Gruber. <laughs> Sarah Isabel Freire. <laughs> Josephine Friedman de Croton. Emily Gannon. <laughs> Alexia Camila Garancia. <laughs> Zoe Angeli Gamon. <laughs> Beatrice Guinness. David Carlo Gesso. Lila Gimus. Axel Gissard. Eleonore Glandos. Jacqueline Gordon. Emmanuel Goyer. Tara Jessica Grant. Kyle Greenbaum. Leah Greenfield. <laughs> Leah Guerrera. <laughs> Rana Hafez. <laughs> Lee.
Alison Sarah Harik. Katina Hachis. Tyler Dieter Havlena. Daniel He. Hanya Hendy with distinction. Sydney Chloe Hock with distinction. Omar Husni Husami. Christopher Jason Hum. Afiat Jahan. Annika Jean. Alexandre Joyal. Shisa Khan. Antonia Claire Kayat. Jordana Alusa Kudaverdian. Isabel Kim Lim. Selena Kwang. Andreas Kuriakadis. Erika Maureen Labelle. Maralina Anna Lashescu. Sebastian Jean-Claude Lefebvre. Bradley Frank Lissa. Jennifer Lin. Anastasia Lingones. Liana Lisella. Shekui Ma. Elvira Dua Makhut. Jade McDonald. Cornelia Menina. Zena Mantaluta with distinction. Dimitrios Maragos. Alexander Peter McMullen. Romano Mercadante with distinction. Isabella Messina. Olivia Minicosi.
Isabella Mirasola. Ayman Mirza. Julia Mosella. Altamash Khan Mohammed. Kura Newham, with distinction. Gracias de la novela. Ariane Olet, with distinction. Kiana Rose Osia, with distinction. Celia Paratore, with distinction. Valera Peker. Heloise Pellegrin. Antoine Perreault. Gabriel Perry. Vanessa Petorelli. Jenna Primerano. Sara Randisi. Oma Ahmed Refat. Camille Marine Solène Raymond, with distinction. Julian Rojas Rueda. Pamela Ross Berno. Lucas Salvatore Rota. Eloise Rouleau. Chelsea Shahakian. Fedora Bianca Sansir. Nicole Frederic Savina Poirier. Luna Schalk. Siva Tserkiskian, with distinction. Tara Sharp. Marina Soko, with distinction. Sarah Sutherland, with distinction. Karen Tabi. Alisa Taricone, with distinction. Natalie Tai. Penelope Camelia Terrio.
Sophia Trifonopoulos. Steven Alexander Trigonakis. Gabriela Wackerflo. Andrew Wenslet. Nathan Joseph Weiger. Vanessa Villonosi. Cyrus Wong. Matthew Alexander Wimmer. Angela Shu. Basma Jassir. Katrin Wagui Joseph. Ornella Sata. Noemi Such with distinction. Matthew Sarah. I would like to call upon the Provost and Vice President Academic for the conferring of the degrees. Would all graduates please stand. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates in the John Molson School of Business. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees. By the powers granted in the university charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate as approved by Senate and certified by the provost. Please be seated. I would now like to ask Dina and Barry to give the valedictory address. Chancellor Wiener, President and Vice Chancellor Carr, Chair Antonio, Dr. Jichuru, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends. I'm pleased to address you today on behalf of the graduating students of Concordia's John Molson Class of 2022. <laughs> Greetings of peace to all. When I first joined Concordia 20 years ago, it was nearly two years after our much prided business school was renamed from the Faculty of Commerce to the John Molson School of Business. Little did I know halfway through that year that I would face the greatest loss in my life, my father. Little did I know that the universe had kept many more, both good and bad surprises for me. Ones that meant 
that I would have to put aside the resumption of my bachelor's degree for almost 16 years. My beloved and wise mother once told me, at the lowest point in my life, no one can save you but yourself. Il n'y a personne d'autre que toi-même qui puisse te sauver. That phrase struck a chord with me. It changed the course of my life thereafter. I realized that in order to rise above adversity, one must take action. One must face their fears. Because if we wish to bring about change in our lives, then we must create that change. Si nous souhaitons provoquer un changement, nous devons créer ce changement by having a clear vision and staying focused on our end goal. We all face the unprecedented adversity of COVID-19. All of us here had to deal with a fair share of illness and or the grief of losing a loved one. Nevertheless, we have proven to be resilient and emerge stronger. In fact, the pandemic managed to bring about the best in all of us. Or as the saying goes, from the thorn bush comes forth the rose. Du buisson d'épine sort la rose. Over the past few years, our professors taught us from their most personal spaces, their homes. They assigned us projects in real life with clients for experiential learning opportunities while simultaneously challenging us. We developed empathy, we strengthened our bonds, and we shared inspiring stories with one another. But what I find most fascinating is the collaborative efforts of John Molson's faculty and Concordia's comprehensive ecosystem that assisted us in our transition through effective communications and a visionary growth that propelled us forward till today. Kudos to all the brave students who rose to the challenge and successfully ran John Molson's Student Associations entirely online. You intuitively organized online events, signed up incredible guest speakers, and created breakout rooms for networking opportunities. Kudos to all the international students who persevered as they traveled back home and dealt with challenges from different time zones to stringent travel protocols. And to all of those here who remained here in Montreal, coping with lonesome long winter nights and endless curfews as changing restrictions kept swinging us back and forth. Each one of us has their own unique story to share. It is our determination and perseverance that kept us moving forward up until this honorable day. Because we have all challenged ourselves developed our capabilities, and managed to overcome some of our biggest fears. But the best part of it all is that we all managed to build long-lasting relationships with our peers, our professors at John Molson and at our, our Concordia community at large. Having said that, I would like to express my thanks and gratitude to all of Concordia's supporting staff, to all our professors, and to our fellow students, some of whom are here today. You have all inspired and supported our personal growth. As a final thought, if you wish to bring about positive change, then you must create that change. Seize each and every opportunity and approach it as a learning with a growth mindset. But let's not forget to stay true to our roots to express gratitude to supportive family and friends, and to remember to give back to John Molson and to Concordia to serve as role models for generations to come. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2022. We did it! Dina, I'd just like to thank you for your remarks. They were very motivating, 
and thank you for your fortitude. Um, it, it did not escape any of us. There, you have a real strength of character and it shined today. Ladies and gentlemen, this just about wraps up our ceremony. Thank you for being here to celebrate the success of the graduating class of 2022. Graduates, I hope today's ceremony has been yet another exhilarating marker in the time that you spent here with us at Concordia. La collation des grades est un droit de passage vers ce que nous espérons tout sincèrement être un avenir formidable et brillant pour chacun d'entre vous. Avant que vous ne vous lancez dans un avenir radieux, je peux être vous demander de prendre un moment pour rendre hommage aux personnes qui vous ont accompagné jusqu'à ce que vous soyez là où vous êtes aujourd'hui. Some of your supporters are your fellow classmates sitting among our audience. Some of your champions are the faculty and staff. Concordia is a great university with the promise of an even better future. And on this day, there is no better measure of our success and no better measure of our potential than all of you. We will always be your university. I would like to wish you all well that you succeed and follow your passions. And before we move outside, I want to leave you with one parting message. May the force be with you. I would like to invite you outside of the room for photo opportunities. Thank you and have a great day.